What is going on guys? Welcome back for another episode of Clash of Empires. Now, out of all the new games that I play, this game is one of the good ones. Like, it's good. Like, literally, good. And the reason why it doesn't have builders, it has workmen. This is really good, but in the long run, it could kind of suck a little bit. Alright, so we are just hitting castle level 7, so we're going to keep on going with it, guys. Alright, so once we get our wall level 7 and our wall, uh, university level 7, we can go from some other stuff. Now, I'm not going to rush and build everything up because right now we're lacking on a lot of troops, looks like. Um, yeah, and this game has so much expanded territory here. I have so many empty plots right now. I could build some more farms, sawmills, and there's a whole bunch of stuff, guys. And then there's more area up here. So the long run, it's like one of those games where you're going to really build a lot of stuff. Now, as far as like resources, I'm not sure if we can hyper the resources. And I guess you can just focus on one resource if you want to do that, I guess. I'm not sure if I should do farm accounts. I have no idea yet, guys. I don't know yet. But we're going to do what we can. So these are going to still be the farms and the sawmills. I don't know how many I need. That's the only thing. We got military tents we can build. Um, this is going to be a place to uh, provide place for your troops, which upgrade and uh, able to train higher tier speed at uh, more mounts. So that's what we need to get more of right now is more of these uh, military tents because we need troops, guys. We're hurting right now, and that's what we're going to start working on right now. Uh, we can't build the iron mine yet until our castle is level 10 and silver mine at 15. That's pretty standard, pretty much all these kind of games. So let's go ahead and build some uh, military tents. And I like to put these things right <clears throat> in a good spot. So we're going to go ahead and build them right here. Actually, since they're not really resources that we need to collect from, let's put them in the back. So let's go ahead and put them there. We'll build a couple of them. And I don't know how many I really need, but I would assume that we, we can build a max of eight right now. But I want to build a whole bunch of them. And then it just takes up so much time trying to upgrade them. So... We'll build three for now, and I'm sure it's going to be part of a quest that we have to get completed at some point. I'm pretty sure once we do the recommended quest, then we can be able to do uh, some more. So we'll just go ahead and build the magic three right now, and we'll upgrade what we can at this point. So we'll go ahead and get those ones there. And this game seems kind of glitchy. But every time we do it, it's going to give us our uh, plus five training capacity. And it's going to give us half a percent for training speed. That's going to definitely help us out. So let's go ahead and get these guys up to... I don't know. We're not spending any gems. It maxes it out fast. Alright, so we got those. And let's go ahead and start building up some more troops. Now, what we honestly need to do also, guys, is get our resources up, too. I see on the top, they already have the, uh, the silver and the iron already up on the top. But we can't really collect those right now. Now, I don't know if I got attacked. Nope. I thought we had to get some healing going on. Now, we also did unlock the lion, the iron throne, which is really good. Um... This thing helps out a lot. So let's go ahead and get it started. I don't care about how long it takes. So I'll put the, uh, the minimum of four workmen there. And it's going to be four hours. Now, if we need to hurry up and get that sped up, we'll go ahead and do it. Now, upgrading it is okay. Um, it doesn't really... It's not like a, a top-notch thing. Now, to get more workmen, that's what I'm trying to figure out right now. And this right here, this is a screen where you can look at your workmen and you can manage them. You can up, you can increase it, you can decrease it. So if we use all 15 workmen, then we can go ahead and take this timer down right here. Take it down to one hour and some change. Uh, we can also put workmen in our stables, range, war fortress. So if we're making troops or anything like that, university, research, we can also cut down the timers on that too. Resources, same thing. So let's go ahead and... Um, yeah, let's keep it like that for now. And then we'll get our, our other two little resource nodes uh, leveled up as well. So as far as farms and sawmills, I think what I'll do, I'm going to do three of those as well. So we're not really hurting right now on resources, but I, I know in the, in the future, we will be, we'll be hurting on those. So we'll get this thing leveled up right there to five. Ooh. 
I'll get this one a five too. Oh no, I spent gems. Oh no. Damn. That's why I don't like that that instant button because you can really it can really get you in the long run, guys. Ouch, ouch, and ouch. That's cool though. But if you guys are enjoying this game and you like content like this, make sure you guys are subscribed so that you can see more content just like this. Just hit the red subscribe button and also make sure the bell notifications are turned on so that you will not miss a beat, guys. You'll know every time that we do a live stream on the channel or if we upload a video on the channel. In case you didn't know, the name is Rural Entertainment Gaming. Alright, so we got some other stuff that we got to get built up as well. We got the Siege Workshop, the Range, the Stables, and the Barracks. Oh, we also have to get the yeah the stables too. Now, if we get the stables leveled up, it's gonna be two hours forty one minutes with eleven workmen that we do have right now. Now, that's gonna unlock the seven's gonna unlock the heavy cavalry bowmen, which I think we're building a little too fast. I think so. It's gonna be five hours to get that one too. So I'm just gonna put the minimum right now so I can get more of them upgraded. It's not even a big deal because if you're not playing the game, it really doesn't matter, guys. All right, so the same thing with this uh, range. We're just going to go ahead and get these things minimally upgraded. And we should be making more troops instead, but, you know, whatever. It's all good. All right, so we only have one more workman right now, so we don't have any more. Now, I'm trying to figure out what we need to do to get more workmen. That's what I need to know. Now, we can also buy a pack for 99 cents, which seems okay. Um, so give us 10 more workmen, which is going to be okay. I mean, I like the game, but I don't know. I don't know. Let me see here. Let me do some research for real fast. Yeah, I'm not sure if I would spend 99 cents yet. The game, I mean, it's, it's made by the guys that made Clash of Glory, which is a really good game. Um, <clears throat> I like the game a lot. But this one's not 100% released yet, so I don't know if I would spend any, any hard-earned cash yet. So, definitely going to pass on that for now. But, I mean, I would spend 99 cents to get those extra workmen. Because it, it, it really does make sense. This alliance still is not even, um... Not even active. So, I, I don't know. There are people on, but they're not, like, saying much. So, I guess that's a... That's a I guess that's a thing to, to do, I guess. Stick around with these guys, because they are, they are helping the help timers a little bit. But they're not really on. Alright, so we just unlocked the Hall of War. Now, if you guys don't know what Hall of War is, the Hall of War is a place to rally your allies, um, upgrade to provide a larger rally capacity. So if you're going to do like raids on people, rallies, then you want to make sure that the person that has the highest Hall of War is the one that's leading the, ra the rally. Universally, let's go ahead and do our research. Now, actually, yeah, we don't have any workmen, so we're not going to be able to do anything speed-wise. Now, with that, we can do research on resources, development, military, and defense. <clears throat> resources, that's self-explanatory. Development helps everything as far as you know, construction, research, speed, training capacity. That's what I'm looking for right now. Because construction speed is, that speaks volumes. Now, military is good too because you have march slots, you have infantry attack, health, and defense. March speed helps anything with your troops. So if you're an attacker, this is where you want to be 100% of the time. Defense, if you're just going to be a sitting rock, a farm account, whatever the case is, you want to make sure you have the, uh, resources to do so like trap speed um wall health artillery and your defense is uh as you hide out capacity i guess that's for if you're hiding your like somebody can hide in your in your base that's pretty cool this game has a lot of stuff for early access this is pretty cool now i don't know well, i don't think they're going to change anything once the game comes out officially 100 percent. i doubt it what i want to know is how i can get extra workmen i think that you have to just keep on building up your uh your castle and once we get our castle up, there's a weird lag on there. I don't know what that is. All right, so we don't get any workmen on, on um, castle level eight. I think like castle level ten. I think you get more. I would say. I would think so. I don't know. But we will get that that castle up to eight once we get our our wall and our university up. Now, I think I'm upgrading. I should have probably went ahead and upgraded those. So just in case. Just in case we decide to uh, get some more of those things going. Alright, so it's good that we did build some more sawmills and some farms. And we also got our military tents. And we went over a couple little things as far as what I would recommend. So that's pretty cool. I like that. 
All right, so daily tasks, I've been doing those. You're gonna pretty much do those anyway, just playing the game. You'll be getting daily tasks completed regardless. So if you are stuck, just look at them. And if you don't really worry about it, <clears throat> like me, just go ahead and kind of collecting everything right now. Cause I wasn't even worried about daily class uh, tasks and the uh, turf quests. So all we have to do is do research 10 times, gather resources 10 times, heal wounded soldiers 10 times, Alliance donation two times, and Alliance help two times. Actually has 20. Oh, gather resources, yeah. Okay, that's weird. I'm gonna collect our little, our, our gifts right there as well. And these things make resources so fast, man. Uh, this is all of our new items. We got some mail. Got the report farms. Yup. So we, had, we did get 8,100 food. We got some lion experience and lion's defense points. Um, experience 76 and defense points 15. So that's pretty much if you play like Guns of Glory. That's your airship, basically. All right, so we'll just go out and we'll just go kill a couple monsters. And that's pretty much all we got to do. Now, it, once you kill one monster, it does go to the next one. Like, let's say you're killing a level one. So it'll already switch over to level um two automatically and you see the monster is in white so that's definitely an easy kill right there and we have i think there's one march right now we have one or two marches i can't remember which one <clears throat> now we can kill level sevens but it's gonna be a little harder battle because look at the, the number on the next to the wolf it's in red so it's gonna be a little bit harder to kill that monster right there it's not gonna be terribly hard but it's going to be harder just to kill it. <clears throat> Alright, so we got a free chest right there also. <laughs> we got some more items. Someone's doing something in the alliance. Oh, that's helps. Let's go ahead and help him out. Now, we have two people that just helped us out. So we have two out of six right now. So our help timers are pretty decent um, for non- active alliance not too bad all right so it looks like we killed whatever we're looking for we're killing so we got that all right so you say level six wolf all right so 99.8 percent of the wounded soldiers are healed so we didn't really lose anything so that's a good thing right there guys we did lose to a level seven because we didn't have enough troops and i didn't heal anybody up and all that kind of stuff like that but we can't go up to level seven to kill anything you can kill level 16, or you can go attack level 16. I won't, I won't kill it, though. That music is pretty loud. That's pretty cool, though. So I just anticipate just getting everything leveled up as I need to, and then we'll go from there. We just hit VIP 2 as well. Now, if you guys don't know what VIP is, that's one of those things where you get the extra bonuses for having your VIP activated. So right now we're level 2. So our build time, our free time is 180 seconds. So once we hit that 180 second mark, then we will get that extra, um, that free timer on the on the VIP3. That one is at 300 seconds. Our resource protection our production is at plus five now. Next VIP, plus six. Resource storage is plus five right now. Next is VIP or uh, plus six. Monster hunt speed is five uh, percent. Next one is plus ten percent. So you can't beat that. Stamina recovery speed is zero right now. Next time we get plus. Uh, five percent so so our best interest to get that next vip um level right now so it looks like we need another 300 vip points and then we'll be able to get that all right so as far as getting vip i think you have to go to like the shop or maybe your alliance store most games have it like that you just go to your alliance store you can just buy that stuff all right so kill two alliance monsters we got that one completed okay let's see upgrade war fortress to level two we don't have any more any more builders right now any workmen but we do, I like this screen right here because it, it just manages everything. Like it says it, workmen manage. And you can move everything where you need to. Uh, you can speed things up. And I'm looking at this one that's five hours, 44 minutes. So we're gonna go to the stables here. And let's see if we can speed this thing up here. So we do have some good amounts of speed ups. We don't have a lot, we got some. So we're going to pop in some of this stuff right here so we can go ahead and get some of these workmen back. Because there's a couple things that I need to get um, upgraded here. All right, so we are now player level 9. And we did get six of our, our workmen back. 
So this is good. So now we're going to keep on making some troops here. We're going to go ahead and train up. We have tier 3 right now for this uh, the heavy cavalry bowmen. And I think we are building a little too fast. But it's okay though, guys. We're going to go ahead and get those guys built up, those tier 3s. Because we do need some higher tier troops, guys. Like, it is amazing. We need it. Uh, we could crank out more lower level tiers. Because, it, you know, as far as the time goes, it does help out. Can we upgrade the gold mine? I don't even know how we unlock these. So right now they're locked. So I don't know. Gold mine is a level five. Gold mine level five to unlock harvesting automatically. After it's enabled, the system harvests gold production. When the gold mine's capacity is full, the system sends the uncollected gold in mail. Alright, so not enough gold level, but I don't understand how to unlock this. Let's activate it. Oh, you can only unlock for a certain time. Okay, so we can do a four hour one. Alright, so let's do that. We have eight of those small gems. So let's go ahead and use that because that is a good thing right there. Let's go ahead and pop that in there. So that gold mine is unlocked for four hours exactly. And it will mine those things for us. And we're going to go ahead and do that. Alright, so right now max is for our buildings is level seven. So level seven is good. Now, let me see, what I said I was going to do was the, I guess the gate, the wall, and the uh, university. So let's go ahead and get those jokers upgraded too. And I want to use the minimal amounts of workmen for those. So seven hours on that. And that's just in case I want to go VIP, not VIP, but the uh, level eight, which we will go, we'll do that today. All right, so we don't have enough workmen right now, so that's kind of a bummer. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and... Man, I gotta get these two things up as well, guys. We got a lot of work to do, man. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and speed these other ones up real quick. Since we do have some speed ups. Let's go ahead and get those jokers up, get those workmen freed up. All right, so we got six there, and we need to get seven. That is the magical number seven. However, I do want to get this uh, university up too. So let's go ahead and do what we gotta do. So it's only 37 minutes. So let's go ahead and get that monkey up leveled up there so we're gonna be okay and that's pretty much what i got for this episode guys if you enjoyed the episode make sure you guys drop a like um, and also make sure that you subscribe if you have not and i will see you guys on the next video guys thank you so much for watching peace